Okay, look, I'm going to tell you something, but you got to keep it a secret, all right? I told Tommy what a big fan Stephanie is, and he agreed to stop by her party after school today. Dad, Stephanie's going to go nuts! I know. Am I the raddest, baddest dad a kid ever had? You were until you said that. You're really a great dad. Well, I've got the kids waiting in the car. Linda, wait. Um... <laughs> Do you, uh, you ever go to the movies? Sure. I love movies. No kidding. Me too. <laughs> it's a small world. <laughs> Two people who love movies living in the same city. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Where was I? I think you were kind of working up the courage to ask me out. Right. I'm still working on it. <laughs> Danny, I've got a car full of bees. But I've got two tickets to a modern art exhibit tonight. I mean, I'd love for you to be my guest if I can find a sitter. Jesse and Joey can do it. Great. <laughs> then I, we can have dinner, too. My treat. Pick you up round seven? OK? OK. It's a date? <laughs> it's a date. Great. <laughs> I have a date tonight. 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 <laughs> and why not? <laughs> oh, man. I'm getting a vibe here that DJ doesn't think I'm all that groovy. No. <laughs> Oh, it's a real mind blower. I just wish I could show DJ that I'm as hip and cool as you guys are. Danny, you don't have to be hip and cool. You're spick and span. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I want DJ to be proud of me. I got an idea. I am gonna surprise DJ. Jess, I'm gonna sing a song with you and your band. <laughs> Couldn't you just surprise her with, like, a really nice sweater? <laughs> you don't think I can be cool? Just wait till you see how I get down and get funky with my bad self. hoo Why is there a soapy dog eating a rump roast on my couch? Take a wild guess. Rusty. That can be bad news. Michelle, did Rusty do that to your eye? With his kaleidoscope. That doesn't sound like little Rusty. Dad, wake up. He's the devil boy. <laughs> I, I can't believe he did this. <laughs> Danny, just uh, out of curiosity, he was uh, a little rusty in the bathroom before you took a shower? Yeah, why do you ask? Rusty! <laughs> Isn't this view amazing? Oh, man. Nature is just so beautiful. So, so natural, and yet, so dirty. <laughs> look at this, there, there's dirt everywhere. Look, look at this mountain, Norman. It's, it's just one big pile of dirt. <laughs> but do you animals care if the forest is in vacuum? I saw what you did on the trail back there, Norman. <laughs> For you guys, nature is just one big restroom, isn't it? You know what? From now on, there's gonna be a new Danny Tanner. Somebody who everybody likes and they wanna be around. Norman, it's the dawn of a new man. Yeah, natural, spontaneous, carefree, primitive. Oh! <laughs> Join me, Norman. Join me. Oh! Come on, Norman. Chime in, baby. Oh! DJ, we have to talk. You don't understand. I don't like the way I look. I want to look like these models. Why? Because they're beautiful. Well, so are you. Oh, yeah? Well, show me one girl in here with this round face and these Charlie Brown cheeks. Honey, 
People come in all different shapes and sizes. Everybody wishes they could change something about themselves. Heck, when I was a kid, I wished I could have been more like that guy on The Incredible Hulk. You want to be a big green monster with muscles? No, not him, the other guy, the guy that turned into the Hulk. <sighs> he was just nice and average. He wasn't too tall, wasn't too skinny. He didn't stick out like I thought I did. Then I realized he didn't have it so easy either. Every time he lost his temper, he had to buy a new shirt. Well, you made me smile, but there's still no way I'm wearing a bathing suit in front of my friends. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Why do you like your friends? Because they're nice and we have fun together and we do stuff for each other. Not because they all look like models. No. Maybe that's because deep down inside you know that how a person looks on the outside isn't nearly as important as who they are on the inside. Right? Right. Michelle, thanks. Uh, thanks for the tape. Uh, Joy, wait a minute. Oh, uh, let's see. You haven't made fun of me in front of Michelle yet, so I'll save you the trouble. Look, Michelle, I'm a squirrel. It's the first day of spring. See me prance and scamper. Here we go. Joey. Jess, I, I think we owe an apology to a certain woodland creature. Yeah. Uh, squirrel boy. <laughs> We're sorry we made fun of you. We really are, Joey. See, Michelle? Joey's a boy, and he can do ballet. And you and Aunt Becky are girls, and you can build cars. As long as you're not hurting anybody, you can do anything you want to do that you really love. Oh, now, come on. We're just going to grab the seal and leave. Can't we just leave? No. Come on. Wait, we can't do this. Thank goodness you come to your senses. No, you're lopsided. <laughs> That's it. I'm out of here. Uh, hi. Hello. I'm Mary Ann, class of 80. <laughs> hi, I'm Sheila, and I had no class. <laughs> Oh, she's such a funster. <laughs> Hello, I'm April. Forgive me, but I don't remember either of you, and I'm pretty sure I would. Oh, uh, well, we didn't belong to the San Francisco chapter. <laughs> We're from the Midwest. Oh, where? In Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> it was a very big campus. <laughs> I don't know if you realize what's been going on here. Where are you going? I'm listening. Keep squeaking. Funny. I walk in here, there's hugging, there's kissing, there's feet up on the furniture, there's you who don't even... Ooh. Oh, that's horrible. What is that? I don't know where that's been. I don't know what's in it. I don't know if I can operate heavy machinery now. I don't know why my voice is back. What's in there? Family secret. So, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, you were attacking the way I raised my daughter. No, I mean, how could you not know that your daughter was having a makeout party. Well, kind of like the way you didn't know your daughter was going to a makeout party, kind of like that. It's not my fault. She lied to me. Welcome to the club. Oh, so there's a club now? What is it, parents of future felons? <laughs> yeah, we have a secret handshake. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I think maybe it was easier for me to get mad at you than get mad at myself. Well, we, you know, could just both be mad at our kids. That's a good idea. You know, the truth is that uh, she has had a really hard time ever since her dad and I split up. You know, but lately she was turning around. God, she quit smoking. Her grades got better. Steph was having such a good influence on her. Mm, Steph's a good kid. She is, too. Well, I suppose I should go in there and talk to her. Uh. Well, just remember, when, when children seem the least lovable, it means they need love the most. Do you always talk like a fortune cookie? Actually, it, it was the thought for the day on my Ziggy desk calendar. 
Are you going through some kind of crisis? Mini crisis, but uh, I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, look at you in your cap and gown. I can't believe my little baby's finally graduating. Well, not till tomorrow. I'm just practicing reading my speech with a tassel in my face. <laughs> you want to hear it? Sure, honey. Today, as we say goodbye to Van Atta Junior High, we realize that everything up until now has been but preparation for the future. Finally, we're ready to enter high school, and our lives are about to begin. What do you think so far? Well, I'm just curious, but what about the last 14 years? It sounds like you're saying your life hasn't even started yet. Well, it hasn't. But when I get into high school, I get to go out on dates, stay up really late, backpack across Europe with my boyfriend. Wait, wait a minute. We'll, we'll fight about that part later. My point is, don't miss out on what's happening right now just because you're waiting for something better to come along. You, you can't live for the future, just like you can't live in the past. Well, I'm not living in the past. Oh, I know you're not. But I was. I was trying to pretend I was 21 again. That was pretty silly, huh? Well, I have to admit, Kimmy and I were laughing at you in those neon pants for hours. <laughs> Can't you just try sharing a room with your sister? Your mom was always so good at this stuff. I'd come home from work and everything was always perfect. DJ, how would mom have handled this? She would have caught me before I moved into the garage. Mom knew everything I did before I did it. What is it, honey? It's just not fair. First I lose my mom, then grandma leaves. Now I even lose my own room. Everything keeps disappearing. I know exactly how you feel. And I know how much you girls miss your mother because I miss her too, very much. But you still got me. You got me too. You got Michelle, and you have your Uncle Jesse and Joey. DJ, we're still a family. And now is when we really need to stick together. DJ, you and I, we go back a long time, 10 years. The 10 happiest years of my life. So look, it's up to you. Either you move back inside, or all five of us are moving into the garage. <laughs> but nothing is gonna break up this team. I'll move back in. I love you, Angel. <laughs> you too, little ballerina. <laughs> oh.